right, so I've done uh, a little bit of tweaking off camera. I've just um, messed around with this a little bit more just to uh, tidy it up a bit. And I've joined these two up and just added this. This was just a sphere primitive with a little bit of modeling. So um, I've joined these two up just through the back and bridge them here and uh, on the top just create create that bulge so all that was just move a couple of verts space them out to a roughly circular shape and then just extrude these couple of faces here I'm sorry just uh, just beveled them Okay, so that's pretty much all I did, and as I said, just messed around a bit more here, you know, but put as much time as you want into it, tweak and fiddle until you're happy, but I'm going to call that one finished now for the moment, so we'll move on to uh, creating the second piece now, the, the, the actual wheel, which is a hell of a lot simpler. Just back to a front view. So... We'll, um, we'll hide that piece, you don't need that. So the wheel here is, we can see that, um, you know, it's basically repeating four times and it's symmetrical. So we can create a quadrant and then just rotate it around, shift rotate it. And start with, um, start with a tube. Roughly the center here, pull to the outside, in, and again, as with the, the other piece, 16 sides here works pretty perfectly. And I'll just leave the the height segments at 3 here because we're going to be using this geometry in, in the center. Right, so I'll right click that, convert to an out of a poly, and then um, can get rid of these faces here and just keep a, a quadrant. Now what I want to do is select this face here and uh, I'll just scale that out. Scale it a bit more maybe and delete it. Select the border and we're going to use the same um, shift drag techniques I'd much rather use this than extruding and beveling and all that it's just a lot quicker for me so we can just the same as with our edges shift drag because we're in an orthographic view it just makes it easy to position it rather than extruding and beveling a face I just prefer this way back to our border just continue to shift drag Update that slightly. Maybe scale that one up. And finish it off. We can bury it in there because it's going to be hidden inside the axle and the wheel. Um, as before now. Let me see. We might want to just tweak a shape. flaring out slightly wider the spoke as it goes towards the wheel and now let me see yep okay one other thing I want to do is I'm just going to take sorry I'm just going to take these faces them along the normal constraint just to give a center a wheel sort of a dip now all we have to do is go back to the front view our pivot still centered in the object 
rotate, shift, hold shift, and just rotate it. 90 degrees with angle snaps on. We want three copies. And now it's all perfectly aligned here. It's just important to set it up correctly for so you know it's going to work. Okay, so we'll attach multiple, attach all these tubes. Now they're all one object, and we will control A to select all the verts, weld, and then at the default threshold, it'll just weld all those coincident verts. Now it's all one more type piece. Now all we have to do is we can just hide the other stuff. And I think we'll just we'll chamfer the edge here slightly. Sorry, we seem to have it. Yeah, sorry, problem here. I'm just gonna collapse these. So I'll just do that for each of the um <coughs> each of the corners. Or each of the the joints. It's just that wasn't they weren't within the threshold but simple to fix. Collapsing rather than welds, you don't need a threshold to collapse them, and it just average you the distance between them. One more to do. Collapse and collapse. That's why we couldn't select them. Um, the loop that time when I was double clicking. Just control, double click, and for that slightly and let me see we'll just see how that looks now the turbo smooth I'll just put on smoothing groups for this one and add another one now yeah, doesn't look too bad let's bring everything back just want to have a quick look at that reference oh, it doesn't seem to be too thick it's not too bad let's go to a left view sorry I'll just hide this first selection left and move it across scale it down for a moment and that is let me see probably add some more bulk here if you wanted to or whatever um, but that's that's pretty much actually just for fun I suppose we'll just model a hook here as well just for the top Start with a. I'm just going to start with a plane. So just drag that out. Convert to edible poly. Let's see here, we just have a, a hook. I could actually, I thought it was more of a square, so it's a, more of a circular hook. I'm just going to start with them. Um, A spline. Just have a quick look. Back and around. So <laughs> take turn it off for a second and put the steps up. Sorry. 
just adjust this shape a bit more. this way nah, too big back So, put it back to radial, give it some thickness, and some sides, make it eight sides. Take the steps back down. Now we know that it's, now it's going smooth. Now, I could also have just um, created a cylinder and uh, put a taper modifier on it and then a bend modifier or a couple of bend modifiers, but we'll just do it by hand here. You'll see what I'm going to do now. So, we'll scale these up slightly, scale these down. Scale this right down. We scale it up a touch as well. And let's isolate that for a second. Get rid of that face. Excuse me. We'll shrink and collapse. Nope. I'm just going to scale them in. I suppose we can um, just take these bases, inset them slightly, scale them. And you can bulk that up a bit more. I can see the hook. It's actually, I think I will uh, do that because it's annoying me. Select these verts here. Scale it. Oh, I'm gonna scale it the entire thing this way. I'll take these and move them along the normal constraint just to flatten it out. Yeah, that looks a bit better. 
Wait till, let me see, maybe. Tighten that up. And there is the wheel. Obviously now we've created, created it in just slightly over an hour or so. Um, and spend more time at it and you know tweak it and get it looking better obviously but uh, that's one method of doing it anyway as you can see it's, it's pretty quick it's only an hour alright cheers thanks